Hi, this is Rob. How to find the slope and y-intercept of the TI-84 plus CE. We're going to do three problems. First problem, y equals negative 3x plus 5. Press the y equals button. This screen appears. If you have anything in the y1, like we have here, delete it by pressing the clear button. Now, enter a negative 3x plus 5. Use the negative sign here and not the minus sign. The x button is up here. Plus 5. Press the calculate button, which is the second button, then the trace button. The screen appears. We want number 6, the change of y over the change of x. That is the definition of a slope, so press the 6 button. This graph appears. This is the graph of our line y equals negative 3x plus 5. Now press the enter button to get the slope. The slope is on the bottom. The change of y over the change of x is negative 3. Negative 3 is the slope of the line. The y intercept is when the x equals 0. And on the graph, we already have the flashing cursor on the x equals 0, and below it says y equals 5. 5 is the y-intercept. If your flashing cursor is not on the x equals 0, you can use the right or left arrow buttons to move the cursor to the x equals 0. Okay, next problem. To exit this graph, press the second button, then the quick button, which is the mode button. If your graphing window does not look like mine, you can press the window button here and adjust these settings similar to mine. To get out of this window, press the second button, then the quick button, which is the mode button. Second problem. 3 equals 10x minus y. You have to put this in the y equals mx plus b format. Move the negative y to the other side of the equal sign. You have to change the sign when you cross the equal sign. And move the 3 to the other side of the equal sign. You have to change the sign when you cross the equal sign. Now we have y equals 10x minus 3. Press the y button. The screen appears. Delete this old equation by pressing the clear button. In y1, enter 10x minus 3. The x button is here minus 3, use the minus sign here, press the calculate button, which is the second button, then the trace button. This screen appears. We want number 6, the change of y over the change of x. That is the definition of the slope, so press the 6 button. This graph appears. This is the graph of our line, y equals 10x minus 3. Now press the enter button to get the slope. The slope is on the bottom. The change of y over the change of x is 10. 10 is the slope of the line. The y-intercept is when the x equals 0. And on this graph, we already have the flashing cursor on the x equals 0. And below it says y equals negative 3. Negative 3 is the y-intercept. Okay, next problem. To exit this graph, press the second button, then the quick button, which is the mode button. Third problem, 3x plus 2y equals 5. Rewrite the equation to the y equals mx plus b format. Subtract a negative 3x from both sides. We now have 2y equals negative 3x plus 5. We need the y by itself, so divide both sides by 2. We have y equals negative 3x over 2 plus 5 over 2. We can leave it in this format. Press the y button. The screen appears. Delete this old equation by pressing the clear button. Enter our equation y equals negative 3x over 2 plus 5 over 2. Let's begin with the open parentheses. Use the negative sign here and not the minus sign. 3x. The x is here, divided by 2.
close parentheses, plus sign, open parentheses, five, divided by two, close parentheses, press the calculate button, which is the second button, then the trace button. The screen appears. We want number six, the change of y over the change of x. That is the definition of the slope. So press the six button. This graph appears. This is the graph of our line y equals negative three x over two plus five over two. Now press the enter button to get the slope. The slope is on the bottom. The change of y over the change of x is negative 1.5. Negative 1.5 is the slope of the line. The y-intercept is when the x equals 0. And on this graph, we already have the flashing cursor on the x equals 0. And below it says y equals 2.5. 2.5 is the y-intercept. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.